Hi there. Welcome to this MCSI video. My name is Emma. In this video we will talk about how to identify assets, threats, and vulnerabilities. A risk assessment can be asset-based or scenario-based. In an asset-based risk assessment, it is very important to identify the assets, threats, and vulnerabilities before you evaluate and analyze risk. An assets valuation is the determination of the worth, utility, or importance of an asset. Determining the value of an asset is very important as it helps the company understand the business impact of the risk, perform cost versus benefit analysis, and select appropriate security controls required to protect them. Let's understand how to identify the assets of an organization. An asset inventory is a document that specifies all the places where sensitive information is located and the estimated value of the asset. The asset inventory consists the list of all the hardware, software, and databases that store sensitive information. Creating an asset inventory helps to determine valuable assets in your company and establishes its owner. An asset owner is the person or entity responsible for developing, maintaining, and securing the asset. It is important to involve the asset owners while developing the asset inventory. They are familiar with how information flows through their department and what value the assets hold for the business. The value of an asset should reflect all identifiable costs that would arise if the asset were actually impaired. Some of the issues that should be considered while determining the asset value include Cost to acquire or develop the asset Cost to maintain and protect the asset Value of the asset to its owners Business operations affected by the unavailability of the asset Legal liabilities if the asset is compromised and much more Let's understand how to identify the threats to the organization's assets Consider threats from across the full spectrum of physical, personnel, and cyber perspectives. Categorize threats as internal or external, as well as malicious or accidental. It is important to stay ahead of emerging threats as well. Utilize the information from external sources, such as threat intelligence platforms. Organizations can also employ log management tools such as security information and event management to look for the indicators of emerging threats. In order to identify the intent, capability, and motivation of the threat agent, ask yourself these simple questions. Who is the threat? Where is it coming from? Why will it happen? What information or data they want to access? How will the threat damage the asset? And so on. Answering these questions will help us understand the likelihood and impact of the risk posed by the threat. Let's understand how to identify the vulnerabilities that can be exploited by threats. Create a detailed picture of the organizational structure. Identify all the current software and programs used, the technology infrastructure and the relative knowledge of the people using the IT assets. Understanding the overall structure and the technology used makes it easier to identify weak spots as well as prioritize fixes. Some of the areas that must be thoroughly investigated for security flaws include IT applications, cloud systems, organizations' networks, physical controls, supply chain, policies, and procedures. Next, you will need to perform security testing to discover vulnerabilities. Some of the ways include the following. Vulnerability scanning, which scans a system or network assets, such as servers, routers, and endpoints, to find security flaws. Penetration testing, which attempts to find and exploit potential vulnerabilities in the system. Its goal is to determine the level of risk posed by them. A physical penetration test assesses all physical security controls, including locks, fences, security guards, cameras, and other security measures. A security audit is an in-depth look at the information security defenses of an organization. A code review is line-by-line -line inspection of the code and manual checking for security issues such as buffer overflow, SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and much more. Network security testing aims to test organizations' network security controls. 
Its goal is to identify and demonstrate vulnerabilities and determine risks. Identifying assets, threats, and vulnerabilities helps you to determine which assets require protection and how you will protect them. It therefore helps you to devise cost-effective security strategies to mitigate risks posed by different threats. In the next video, we will discuss how to develop risk scenarios. Stay tuned! If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!